There's some other news we're following today at five. All three men charged in the killing of Ahmad Arbery pleaded not guilty before a judge today. Travis and Gregory McMichael pleaded not guilty to the nine charges against them, including malice murder. The third man charged, Roddy Bryan, did as well and is also now the subject of a sex crimes investigation. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation said that today. We do have live team coverage for you on this case. Many of Arbery's relatives and friends were in and out of the courtroom during today's hearing. On your site's Troy Kless will talk about the emotional day for Arbery's family, but let's start with First Coast News reporter Kaylee Tracy with what happened in court today. Kaylee. Hey Anthony, inside of this courtroom today, a judge denied a bond for Brian. One of the reasons he referenced that sex crimes investigation into Brian allegations made against Brian that we heard about from the GBI today. We're also learning that that came to light during the Ahmad Arbery investigation. I am asking this court to say no. He cannot go home. He did not allow my son to go home. An emotional plea from the mother of Ahmad Arbery to the court Friday, asking the judge to deny a motion for bond for one of the men who was charged with her son's murder to be denied. So I stand before you as the mother of Ahmad, asking this court to do not to to, to give Mr. Bryan the same energy that he gave my son. The attorney for William Roddy Bryan, the man who filmed the video of Arbery's death, argued Bryan has job opportunities and needs to be released to put his life back together. He also said he's not a threat to the community. He pleaded not guilty to nine charges against him, including malice murder. There is not enough evidence to establish this unrepentant man in, in being a danger to this community. Arbery's parents and the state disagreed with Brian's attorney. They argued Brian used his truck as a weapon against Arbery, said phone records show he used the N-word frequently, and said Brian's ex-wife lives in Costa Rica, so he could be a flight risk. The judge denied Bond, saying Brian as a flight risk is his biggest concern. He also noted a sex crimes investigation by the GBI based on allegations made against Brian announced Friday. Coming up at 6, we'll tell you the judge's rulings on other motions made by Brian's attorney, one involving the current DA. But for now, I'm going to toss things over to my colleague, Troy Kless, who has more on the Arbery family's reaction from today in court. Thank you, Kaylee. Like we heard just there, Ahmad Arbery's mom gave that powerful victim impact statement in the courtroom today. After today's hearing, she was silent, but most of her and her fa her family members, they were all pleased with the outcome that no bond was set for these three men. Kevin Smith, one of Ahmad Arbery's cousins, wearing a shirt with the hashtag I run with Maud. He says days like this become very emotional for him. Think about it, I'd be looking like Dang, you know, you know what I'm saying? This situation is very heartbreaking. Who we run with? Ma! Smith has been part of numerous protests asking for justice to be delivered in this case. Smith was inside the courtroom for part of Friday's hearing. He says it's also frustrating waiting for this case to reach a trial. After a video of his cousin's death was released, he thinks the judgment is simple. I don't think they deserve a bond. I don't, man, look, I. If anything, the case should be over right now. Arbery's mom, Wanda Cooper Jones, stood by as her attorneys say they were pleased with the decision to deny bond. During the hearing, the family stated that the three men charged acted as judge, jury, and executioner against her son, Ahmad. Now ahead at six, we're going to have more on what Smith feels is changing in the Brunswick community since Arbery's death. We're live at the Glen County Courthouse. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.